Where have we been? What we've been doing? <laughs> we've been up, down, All round around. and round, back on ourselves. <laughs> we've had a few weeks uh, rest from filming. Uh, had a bit of a break, just to recharge the batteries. Last time we left you, we were in the Stoke-on-Trent area, but we've cruised further down the Trent and Mersey Canal to Fradley Junction. Down then on the Coventry Canal for a few miles to meet up with uh, family. Turned around back up to the Trent and Mersey Canal, headed towards Burton on Trent. I met two more lots of family in yeah. the middle of that. Went on the river and met family and been busy, busy. And when family are here, it's not right to front. We don't feel it's right to film. Um, we just, it's been so long since we've seen family properly. It was just nice to give them some time, wasn't it? Yeah, it and, was. Uh, yeah. It's been lovely, but we can't concentrate on two things at once. So we're back, <laughs> <laughs> filming. <laughs> And before, we've done all that before on videos, that the, the route we've just taken, so... And also, I was a bit ugly because um, I decided oh. one day to fall flat on my face. She did. And uh, put my teeth through my lip and cut my chin and it was a bit black and blue. So, um, you didn't want to see me like that. Well, we were, off, we were coming back from the shops, weren't we? And I heard this thud behind me. <laughs> Turn around and Fran's flat on her face on the ground and I wondered what the heck had gone on, my heart was in my mouth. Well, you were okay, weren't you? I was fine, yeah, yeah. Just an old bird now. That's <gasps> uh, so anyway, we have um, saw all family, we bumped into some old friends that we haven't seen for ages as well, and that's been great. We're on our way now again to meet up with some good friends from Hang Loose Narrowboat, uh, and looking forward to seeing them because we haven't seen them for two years. No. So that's going to be good fun. And um, we've had a change of plan, Fran. Yes, we have. So um, we were intending to go east and then north. We've been trying for at least two years to get up to Skipton and, and the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, yeah. We just don't seem to manage it. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. In the past, it's been locked down and it was floods that stopped us. This time, it's our choice. There is a reason that we need to go down south a little bit. So we are going along onto the River Soar and down to Foxton Locks. Yeah, through Leicester, back onto the Grand Union Canal, the Leicester arm of the Grand Union Canal, Fo Foxton Locks. And then when we've done that, we'll um, make another decision what to do then, whether we go back up on ourselves so we can go further north, or maybe go up the River Neen, or Nen, whichever is your preference. Um, we don't know, do we? Just so we'll see on how we feel. Weather on the flood conditions, yeah. because it's a river, you've just got to be a little bit careful. Um, and our weather seems to be a bit crazy at the moment, so who knows? And so many people keep asking if we're going to Crick, and we're not. We've, no, we're we've not. got no need to go to Crick. We've got everything we need for the boat now, and um, it's just another place that we have to be and go to. So. I'm sorry, but we won't be at Crick this year, but for those of you that go, have a wonderful time. Yeah. It's going to be mad at Crick, it isn't is it? Going to be mad at Crick. <laughs> yeah. No. Other than the beer tent, there's nothing else I need at Crick. <laughs> but life has been, it seems to have been really, really busy. And I think um, seeing family, because as I say, we couldn't see them for so long, we've been trying to pack quite a lot in. And we've also been in towns again, trying to stock up on things that we've not been able to get for a while. And I don't know, I feel like I've lost contact, I've lost touch with the countryside a little bit. Um, I do as well, yeah. I feel like we've uh, lost our chi a little bit, haven't we? So one of the just... good things about lockdown was that you could really just just watch and, and sink into your environment a little bit and just spend days doing it. And it's, it just feels like we've been a bit manic. So. It's out, it's under our control, but we're it really is. trying we're to going to slow down slow now. Down again. Just uh, we don't need to rush anymore. We've got nowhere to be uh, for a month. We've uh, not been walking. There's a we? reason why we're heading down to um, Foxton Locks, um, but that will become evident in a future video. Um, so that's it, and that section down to the Foxton uh, Locks we've not done before, so that's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. And this, to be honest, what we're on now is new canal to us and it's really so, pretty it's, it's, lovely. it's lovely and coming through out of Burton upon Trent was really interesting because on the map all around us is um, remnants of the brewing industry and works 
but the canal is slightly set aside from it and it was really yeah, peaceful lovely. countryside cruising wasn't yeah. it but this is lovely now and the dogs had fun in uh, Shobnall Park didn't they it was great for them so <laughs> yeah so that's us that's what we've been doing uh, that's what we're going to do uh, so stick along and we're back yes we're back We had a fab time in Burton-on-Trent for the four or five days we were there. Really interesting old brewery town, really famous for its beers. Started brewing in the 13th century. The monks decided that they could brew really good beer from the water that was provided there. And uh, yeah, dogs loved it, Fran. They did. We found um, milled up by Shobnall Fields, which we think, and we don't know if it was, it was part of the uh, recreation grounds for the um, beer workers, and the brewery workers, but a fabulous place, and the dogs yeah, just wonderful. ran themselves silly. <laughs> so much so that Archie actually wasn't very well one night. We think he pulled a muscle, but uh, yeah, we had a great time there. And all around, there's evidence still of the old brewing industry, isn't there? Yeah. Um, yeah really the big vats, and it just it's just lovely. It was lovely. Brother Rob took us to the Cooper's pub, <laughs> and uh, we had a really good time in there. And next door to it is the Apney Curry House, Indian restaurant. And so we uh, took our beers from the pub into the Indian restaurant, which is not uh, licensed, and uh, had a right old time, didn't yeah. we? So really, really good time. Really the funny good thing fun. is, though, about Burton, as you're going through on the canal, I don't quite know why, but the canal is a little bit detached from the town and the breweries. Yeah, it does seem And you would so. think that they would have used that for transport. We've not looked into that, but the canal is really peaceful and quiet. And then all around you, you can just see these chimneys and and breweries it's just an interesting place isn't it well, i guess a lot of the old breweries have been demolished now and that may have been right by the canal because they did use the canal for transporting beer yeah and lots of lovely houses as well which were obviously yeah. brewery workers and brewery managers the big ones yeah. but yeah we had a good time great time now we're in a little village called willington uh we're off to do a bit of shopping have a couple of beers because it's a non-school day <laughs> and uh get some fish and chips yeah, it's Friday. Traditional. Friday. We're going to have a traditional weekend, I've decided. We're having fish and chips tonight, Saturday night curry, and I think we might have a Sunday roast. Oh. 
We haven't done that for a long while. No. We haven't done that on the new boat, so time to sort that out. Someone's looking forward to autumn, I think. <laughs> Back here and I've crumbled. We are surrounded by railway lines here, aren't we, as yeah. well? But um, it's not, hey not that frequent, and it's not can a problem. Put up with it, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go. What you got, Fred? I've got soggy chips. Soggy chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. It's thunderstorming. And I want to go home. <laughs>